Parvana is an 11-year-old girl who lives in Kabul under the Taliban's Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Her father, Nurullah, is a former school teacher who became a hawker after losing his left leg in the Soviet-Afghan War. One day, during supper, he is unjustly arrested after a volatile young member of the Taliban. Idris thinks he insulted him earlier while the two were selling goods in the market. Because the Taliban forbids women from going out without a male relative, Parvana's family is left without the means to support themselves. Her elder brother Suleiman died years ago, leaving her, her mother Fatima, her elder sister Soraya, and her youngest brother Zaki. When Parvana and her mother try to go to the prison to appeal for Nurullah's arrest, a Taliban member beats Fatima and threatens to arrest them if they go outside again. Parvana comforts Zaki by telling the story of a boy on a quest to retrieve his village seeds from the evil elephant king. Later, Parvana tries to buy food for her family, but the hawkers cannot sell her any due to fear of the Taliban. To support her family, she decides to cut her hair and dress as a boy, Oddish, claiming to be Nurullah's nephew. The plot works, and Parvana can get both food and money. On the advice of Shazia, another young girl disguised as a boy, Parvana tries to bribe a corrections officer so she can see her father. However, the guard sends her away. She works to save up more money for an enormous bribe, taking on complex labor jobs with Shazia, who is trying to save enough money to escape her abusive father. Meanwhile, Fatima is forced to write to a relative in Mazar, arranging a marriage for Soria in exchange for shelter and protection. Parvana also meets Razak, the former patrol partner of Idris. The illiterate Razak pays her to read him a letter informing him that a landmine killed his wife. Nevertheless, he befriends her and continues to meet with her so that she can teach him how to read and write. Parvana and Shazia take a hard labor job where Idris was also present. After being hit abruptly by Parvana with a brick, he recognizes her and tries to kill her as she flees with Shazia. Parvana and Shazia manage to hide, and Idris is unexpectedly called away to fight in the war, never to be seen again. When Parvana returns home, Fatima pleads with her to stop the dangerous plot, telling her that her relatives accepted Soria, and that they will be collected the day after next. Parvana agrees on the condition that she gets to visit Nurullah in prison to tell him where they are going, as Razak has a cousin who works there that will let her in. She tearfully bids farewell to Shazia, promising that they will meet 20 years from then. However, as Parvana travels to the prison, Fatima's cousin arrives early and forces them to come with him without Parvana, as the war is starting and the roads will soon be blocked. Fatima eventually stands up to her cousin, furious, refusing to let him take them further, and he leaves the family stranded on the road. Parvana arrives at the prison, where she finds Razak. After Parvana reveals that she is Nurullah's daughter, Razak informs her that his cousin has left to fight, but he will retrieve Nurullah. As the prison is being cleared out of weak prisoners who cannot fight, Parvana witnesses their execution. Terrified, she gathers her courage to stay by finishing the tale of the boy, who she turns into Suleiman, revealing that he died after picking up a toy on the street, which was a land mine that exploded. Razak is shot in the shoulder while rescuing the weak Nurilla, but the wound is not fatal, and he reunites the father and daughter. Parvana takes her father away, where they will soon reunite with the rest of the family as the two continue the story they were telling each other at the start of the film. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the following video.